Good day, grade 10s. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how resistors act when they are connected in series. What do we mean when we say they're in series? When we're in series, we say that they're actually connected one after another within the circuit. So let me draw a little circuit here for you and then talk to you about what we can find out. So first of all, we need a power supply. So there are our cells. Then we're going to measure the current. So we're going to put a little ammeter here. Ammeter, and we're going to call it ammeter 1 because we're going to have more than one resistor. There's resistor 1, R1. And then we're going to put another little ammeter here, just for fun. Ammeter 2. And then we're going to put another resistor here, R2. And then we're going to close up the circuit, but just for fun. No, not really, there's a reason. If I put ammeter 3 here, there we go. Right, so if I had to draw the circuit, if I had to build the circuit, we would have three ammeters in series, and the resistors are in series as well. The current, the conventional current, will be traveling from positive through all this to the negative. Now what's important is you need to realize that the current is flowing through each of these resistors and for that reason your A1 is going to equal your A2 is going to equal your A3. In other words the current flowing through here remains the same. The rate at which the electrons are flowing through everything over here is the same because the electrons have to go through the whole circuit and they go through each of the resistors in series. If I have to put a voltmeter here, this is voltmeter 1, remember we connect voltmeters in parallel because of the fact that they've got a very high resistance, and I put a voltmeter here, and then I put a voltmeter here, we'll call that voltmeter VT, okay for terminal. So if we put the voltmeter there, now you need to understand that the electrons have to flow through this resistor so therefore they need to do work all the electrons have to go through this resistor so they need to do work to get through this resistor and then the same poor little electrons have to get through this resistor and remember that the voltmeter what are they doing they're basically measuring the amount of energy it takes to get through here so therefore we find that V1 plus V2 equals V total. In other words, this V total is measuring the amount of work it requires to take to get the, resist the electrons through both resistors, the total amount. Right, so let's summarize. First of all, the current is the same at every point in the circuit, but the voltage is divided across the resistors. So the resistors in series are called potential dividers. Okay, so V total is equal to V1 plus V2. So the total resistance can be calculated as the sum of the resistance across the resistors. Why? I didn't mention this, but it's obvious. Since the electrons are all going through every single resistor, it makes sense that the total resistance is going to be R1 plus R2. The little subscript there is, it stands for resistors in series. And let's do an example. Whoopsie, let's do an example. So let's go and say that we've got a battery and I'm going to draw the ammeter in so you're used to seeing it and then let's say we have a 2 ohm resistor and then let's say we have a 3 ohm resistor and then let's just close the circuit Okay. Right, so we know that R, the total resistance in series is equal to R1 plus R2, which in this case is 2 plus 3, so therefore the total resistance in the circuit due to these two resistors is 5 ohms. And that's how easy it is. Right, I hope now that you all know how to work out resistance in series and you know that the current is the same throughout the circuit but that the potential difference is divided. Have a great day, grade 10s. Mm -hmm.